All right, so a lot has happened in the crypto market over the last few days. We've seen Bitcoin and Ethereum hit two-month highs. We've seen Shiba Inu and meme coins finally start to make a comeback. And we've also seen quite a bit of bad news that has actually derailed this rally we have been seeing. So today's video, I want to talk about the good, also the bad, and what we can expect over the next couple of days if you're a crypto investor. So starting off with the overall market, we have seen that Bitcoin has rallied significantly over the last few days. We saw it reach a high of over 20 $25,200 per coin, but now it's currently sitting at around $24,000. In addition to this, Ethereum was well above $2,000 per coin, but it has come down as well. And the reason why we have seen the crypto market rally take a little bit of a breather, come back down, has a lot to do with China. China recently had new data come out for consumer and factory data, and all of the data points basically missed estimates and were worse than they were in June. So this data was for the month of July, and we could see that retail Retail sales grew by 2.7% in July from a year ago, but estimates and forecasts had predicted 5%. That's not good. In addition to retail sales, we saw industrial production uh, rose by 3.8% and it missed an expectation of 4.6%. In addition to this, fixed asset investment rose by 5.7% from a year ago, which missed its expectation of 6.2%. So almost every single number on this report showed that China's economy is slowing down dramatically, that they're missing all expectations for retail sales, for industrial production, for every single aspect of the economy. And as a result of this, the Chinese Central Bank had to increase a couple of very important rates. They actually had to to um, reduce the main rate, which provides short-term liquidity to banks from 2.1% to 2%. And the central bank also cut its one-year lending facility from 2.85% to 2.75%. So because of this, there's been a lot of fear coming back into the market, and that is why we have seen the market take a bit of a breather, come back down from where it was. But the good news with the overall market with crypto is that there's a lot of positives still. What we have seen is that we did hit those two-month highs, but also the Crypto Fear and Greed Index hit neutral for the first time since really April. We had not seen the Crypto Fear and Greed Index get back to the neutral level in the last couple of months. It has been either in extreme fear or in fear, but we just hit neutral for the first time, which is a bullish sign. I want to quickly interrupt today's video to bring you a word from our channel partner, AI Book. AI Book is a project with rare NFTs based on quotes from well-known classical authors. The project aims to breathe new life into the quotes of famous writers and is mainly created for book lovers. It's trying to combine the physical and digital world, specifically with the book space. The cool thing about AI Book is that each NFT has a story behind it and you can actually earn passive income through their read-to-earn model which is completely revolutionary. AI Books Read to Earn is an innovative model allowing you to increase your income while actually just sitting and reading a book. The NFTs that you purchase also within AI Book give you the right to influence the launch of a future Read to Earn project participate in the exclusive private rounds of AI book token sales in the future and earn a permanent 5% discount for IDO tokens that are launched on an exclusive launch pad for AI book NFT owners. In addition to all this with digital benefits, you also have some real world benefits as well. With AI book, they'll be launching an NFT cafe where holders of 10 or more AI book NFTs can receive free coffee and desserts. And if you're not going somewhere in person, they actually have an online bookshop that they'll be launching where premium AI book NFT holders will get discounts on physical book deliveries as well. This is a very cool project in my opinion that is trying to combine both the real world and the digital world. So you're definitely not going to want to miss out on this. Sales are going to be starting on the 20th of August for their NFTs. It's limited to a thousand NFTs at 35 USDT. But if you miss the whitelist sale, which is taking place in August, there will be a public sale with six 6,000 NFTs starting on the 1st of September, but the min price is going to be significantly more at 50 USDT. To participate in the AI book whitelist, check out the link in the description. Let me know your thoughts on this project, but I definitely think it's worth checking out. Also, don't forget to follow them on Twitter and join their Discord so you can stay up to date on everything going on with upcoming giveaways and launches. Anyways, let's get back to the program. Other thing that's bullish is that meme coins like Shiba Inu have finally started to rally. Shiba Inu over the past weekend was up over 30%. Dogecoin was up oh, double digits as well. And this is a sign that people are getting back into risk on assets that 
Crypto investors are looking more at altcoins, higher return investments, and they're not afraid to put their money into the riskier investments out there. So this historically is a leading indicator to where the market is going. When we see meme coins start to rally, that's usually a good sign that the market is healthy, that we're starting to see a breakout and that prices are going to continue to rally as well. Other thing that's been happening in the market that I do want to talk about is from institutions, which is also good. Skybridge Capital, their founder came out and says that he expects Bitcoin to hit $300,000 per coin in the next six years. He says that their belief right now is that most of the leverage is out of the crypto market, that now we're seeing a strong recovery. And regardless of what happens in the next couple of months, it's important to stay patient, stay long term, because they believe that crypto is one of the best investments you can make right now with Bitcoin prediction well above $300,000 per coin. In addition to this, they said right now their investments are mostly like Bitcoin, Ethereum. They do have a position in Algorand, but over the coming 30 days, they said one thing to keep an eye out for is going to be with Ethereum and its upcoming merge to proof of stake. They said right now, a lot of people have been buying the rumor, buying the lead up to this merger, merger on September 15th and September 16th, but just be careful because we could see a pretty significant can sell off after that event, you know, buy the rumors, sell the news. So they said they're not going to be doing that, but, and they, they don't recommend people to be doing that, but something just to keep an eye out on if you're more of a short-term trader. Last thing I want to go over is going to be what has happened with Polkadot, because there has been a bit of bad news. The bad news is that Polkadot stablecoin AUSD has depegged after Akala Network was hacked. There was over $1.2 billion um, minted for this stablecoin and, you know, so-called stablecoin, and it has completely crashed. It is worth well below one penny per, per coin now, down over 99%. And this is just added to the list of stablecoins that have failed over the last year. So the re lesson we could take away from this, in my opinion, is ultimately... Stable coins right now are still developing, really not so stable. Me personally, the ones that I am, I'm really all of my stable coin money is in is going to be with USDT and USDC. Also a little bit in BUSD as well. Those are the three that I have my money in. But the thing to take away from this is make sure to stay in the more secure, the historically um, secure stable coins, which are USDT, USDC, and BUSD. But also make sure not to keep all of your money in any one stable coin and not to just keep all of your money in stable coins for that matter because they still are relatively new and we're seeing that if you're keeping all your money in them, well, there still is a risk right now. So just keep an eye out on this. I would recommend, you know, diversifying your stable coins, not into any one, um, just make sure you're safe. But ultimately that's been going on in the market. Things are looking much better despite news that has come out with China, which has derailed the rally just a bit. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video and I'll see you guys in the next episode. See ya.